Hey, 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 I'm Chris. I'm Drew. We are Cheap Ashes, coming to you today from cloudy, dreary Chandler, Arizona. Yeah, a little, a little sun popping out there. Yeah, but. a little bit, not much. Uh, once again, we're gonna be at the Yard Cigar Bar, uh, one of our favorite little haunts that yeah. we come to you from. Uh, today we're gonna be reviewing our cigar, which will be the Brick House. Double Connecticut. Uh, Drew, what are you drinking today, buddy? Um, so I, I kind of went a little weird today. <laughs> um, so I got some coffee from this place. We'll talk about that more later. Yeah. Uh, a little, a couple of shots of espresso, just because I wanted to uh, go some straight coffee uh, on that one for you. I'm going local as well. Four Peaks Red Bird Lager. Um, we're kind of staying local with our drinks today, you know. Yeah. You know. It's uh. Again, you know, we're talking about it's a dreary day here in Arizona, and finally, you know, you start to see the calendar change from September to October, getting close to there. The weather's finally breaking for us. You can see I'm in a flannel. Um, it's uh, in the 70s here right now. Uh, guys, it's been in the hundreds up until, like, yesterday. Yeah, I would say, like, yesterday, the day before. Uh, so for us to get a break and have nice weather is unbelievably like comforting and soothing for for those of us in the valley of the sun here <laughs> all i can say is it's about time oh, i think it's, we've been waiting for this for months so well both of us got out of town this past weekend just yeah. to get out of the heat you get to a point where you're so sick of the heat that you just have to get out you have to leave so uh lara and i we went up to um the rim the mogollon rim we camped up there by woods canyon lake Beautiful. Where'd you guys head up to? Um, so uh, we went up to uh, Jerome and Flagstaff and Sedona. I just kind of did the whole little loop through Central Arizona, Northern Arizona. There, uh, it was it was quite nice to uh, be able to get out of town for a few days. Isn't it nice to wear a sweatshirt during the day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, still, I still got that uh, that blood from the Midwest, though. I feel like, right, right, like right. you know, it was nice wearing a t-shirt and just not sweating, sweating your, your ass off. off. Yeah, yeah. 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 I do not have that Midwestern blood anymore. I've been out of here 33, 34 years, something like that. Yeah. So I am, uh, I'm now a Valley resident, true and true, yeah. with thinned out blood. Uh, yeah. Well, let's talk about our drinks today. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and start with uh, Bikini Beans Coffee. So uh, this is a little, uh, you know, local spot here. So the thing about this, um, I kind of wanted to do this. <laughs> This is a gimmick. This is straight gimmick. Um, honestly, it's what it is. yeah. You roll up the the baristas uh, are all wearing bikinis, which you know works in Arizona most of the year because it is hot as balls. Yeah. Um, is the coffee good? Let's find out. So I drink a lot of coffee. This is so acidic, so bitter, so over roasted. Just being flat out honest, this is probably some of the worst espresso that I've ever had in my life. Um, which, you know, if you're looking just for a jolt and um, you want to show up and we'll see ogle, chicks in bikinis yeah, and ogle and ogle over the uh, the chicks chicks and ass there. hanging out, yeah. then that's your that's the place to go. But if you want good coffee, this is not it. That, no. I wouldn't recommend that place to yeah. go to. Um, I've had their just regular drip coffee. Yeah. And I mean, two is not. I got a nice Americano as well, which is basically the espresso with water. That tastes better just because the water mellows. The it water out. mellows out the uh, that yeah. bitterness. And, and but I mean, you know, I I, I don't go to places like this. Um, this is literally the second time I've been there. I tried it once before. Um, I, I probably, honestly, my personal uh, thing. I won't be going back. Uh, we have plenty of other great coffee spots around here, and I'm it's sure. Oh, Black Rock, man. Yeah, Black oh, Rock is dude. my go-to. Uh, we'll be doing a review on those guys as well. We'll be doing know. Black Rock. We'll, um, and, and, you know, Starbucks is on every damn corner in yeah, the country no right now. And, excuse me, again, Starbucks tends to over-roast their beans as well. Yeah. But if you get their blonde, like Rob said in our, in yeah. our video, you got the blonde espresso. That was a little more mellow, a little more uh, balanced, refined. You know, it, it, it's a fine line between over roasting your beans and roasting them properly. It, it's just, it's tough, man, to find good coffee. Yeah, we were just talking about this before we started as well. Like, 
going up north, I was in Jerome uh, last week, and uh, we stopped at this little spot called the Mine Cafe up there. That coffee was absolutely phenomenal. I don't know what beans they were using. I don't know anything about the specifics. I just ordered uh, some, you know, nice coffee with a couple shots of espresso in it, and it was well delicious. And I think too. Um, the ambiance of where you're having the coffee as yeah, well. and kind who you're having the coffee with. If, who who you're having the coffee yeah. with helps. Um, it all kind of makes the experience a little bit better for you. You know, I, I'm a coffee drinker. Anybody that knows me knows I have a coffee yeah. pot in my classroom. Literally, um, I drink close to a pot of coffee a day. Yeah. Uh, honestly, from the major, major chains out there, I would say Dunkin' Donuts is my favorite. Just good. black yeah. Yep. coffee drinking hot I could do that every day and I have a big container of it in my refrigerator right. at, at school because I use Dunkin coffee sure. I, I really really enjoy it their uh, dark roast is actually one of the few dark roasts I've had that is not over roasted and right. it is balanced and delicious the acidic level of it is not over the top you, you're still gonna get some acid in that dude that yeah. that dark roast with that bean you're still gonna get that acidic level in the coffee, but it's not over the top to make you go, ooh, yeah. the fuck did I just drink? Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. You yeah. know, this is this is not good. I, honestly, like. I mean, seriously, if you if, if you just want to go for the the view, I would recommend just getting their drip coffee. Yeah. At, at, you don't spend the well, money. Well, they have other stuff as well. I mean, they have. Well, like, they have these, like refreshers and, and, and smoothies and all. And I think they sell shit. more of that than their actual coffee. Yeah, the because the coffee's garbage. The coffee's garbage. Yeah. Um, let's move on to yeah, what I'm drinking. Four Peaks Redbird Lager. Okay, uh, we have it here at the bar. It's out there. It's available. It's on tap. Uh, Four Peaks Brewing, if you don't know, is a local Arizona brewery. They have been around since 1996. Kind of the hot, I would say, the beginning of the craft beer world. Yeah. They were the first craft beer in Arizona. Uh, they've been doing. Pretty decent beers. Um, you know, they yeah. got bought out, and the thing that sucks about getting bought out is you're mass producing now instead of staying true to what you were at the beginning. Yeah. So, the things that were once kind of like one of my favorite beers, like Kilt Lifter, for example, if you've ever had it, back in the day in the late 90s, early 2000s, mid 2000s. It was a Scot it's a Scottish style ale that was just like, it was malty, it was beefy, yeah. it was really, really it's good. Really good, rich earth. Rich kind of earth, like. yeah. And now it's just kind of like, it, it almost looks like a watered down version of an amber ale. I mean, yeah. it just doesn't look the same, it doesn't smell the same, and, and with that it doesn't taste the same. Yeah. But they're still putting out some good stuff, and this, Red Bird Lager. I'm a lager guy. I love craft lagers. I love craft builders. I I drink this. I like this. Four and a half percent. Nice, easy drinking. Yeah. Um, especially if you're you're having people over for a game, especially a Cardinal game. If you're here in Arizona, this is one of those beers. Buy a 15 pack. Throw it in the cooler. Throw it in the you know your beer fridge wherever you yeah. are. All game long, you're not gonna you're not gonna get overly intoxicated. You're not gonna get housed. <laughs> you're not gonna get housed like uh, the Cardinals almost did against the Vikings. But we won't go there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it's a really good beer. I I like it. It's nothing. You know, it's a lager. It's it's definitely not a Coors Light Bud Light lager, a Budweiser lager. It's not that. It's got a full flavor for a lager. Nice. Um, without having that high ABV. So they did a really good job with it. I'm very impressed with it. Comes in these limited edition Cardinal cans. Uh, I think any bar that you go around the valley, you'll see signs up. Uh, most people are offering it for like two bucks a pint, two bucks a beer when the Cardinals are playing. You can get a can for two bucks or a pint. Yeah, yeah it, can't be it, that. Seriously, yeah. come on. And it, it, it's one of those things where it, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. You know, no-brainer. Uh, the non-no-brainer or the conundrum I have with that is this cigar. Yeah. Uh, fuck, man. This thing is flat and just not real good. It goes really well with this coffee. But um, they both suck. This is <laughs> this has no flavor. This has really bad flavor. Yeah. And so you mix them together and it's just like what the fuck is going on? It's... It, it, I mean... 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost yeah. tastes like cardboard. There's just nothing to this, man. Mm -hmm. and, and the original Brick House isn't a bad stick. No. It's not a bad stick. The Brick House Maduro, not a bad stick. Brick House Maduro is actually a good cigar. I, I, I smoked that one on, you know, here and there. But, but yeah. I'm, I'm going to call a fail on this guy with, with yeah. whatever they were trying to do with it. The blend, there's just, there is zero complexity in this. Literally, there is nothing here. It is the most flat cigar I think I've ever smoked in my lifetime. And I've had some bad cigars, you guys. Yeah. This one, you know, it's 850, I think. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it uh, kind of varies depending on where you're at, what size you're getting. I mean, they have everything from a, a little Corona all the way up to a, a, a Gordo 6x60, which I can't imagine smoking this in the 660. This no. has no flavor. You you make it a bigger ring gauge, Ooh, you it, might as well. It, it, you're, you're smoking air. Yeah. I mean, that's what it would taste like, just smoking the air. There's yeah. nothing... There's just nothing to it, and I and I hate to say that because I really do like Jason Newman. I like great cigar company. I mean, the great company brand. is fantastic. Yeah. They great make family. Unbelievable cigars. Yeah. I mean, fuck. You know, let's think about this. Um, Diamond Crown. Diamond Crown. You know, great cigar. It, uh, that's like top of the line, top of the line. Yeah. I put that up there with Davidoff. Maybe better flavor than Davidoff when you're talking about that. Especially for the price. Yeah. High end cigar stuff. Yeah. For half the price, you get better flavor. I mean. And so, for you know, we've been doing so many, yeah, we love this, we love this, we love this. Today we kind of ran into a snag here with... This is the fail episode. This is the Except fail the episode. Beer. I mean, the beer, the beer know, you know what, the beer is what it is. It, 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 you're either going to like a lager or you're not going to like a lager. I personally yeah. like lagers. For me, this is a great, great beer. Yeah. So I will drink this beer over and over and over again as long as they have it. It's a limited edition that they put out for football season. Hopefully they do it again next year. Uh, because to me, this is that kind of, this is that beer, and I'm gonna say it, when you're watching football at a bar, this is the beer you kind of want to be drinking. It's one of the ones that you can have five or six during a game. Okay, we're done with that. You can have like five or six during a game and you're not gonna stumble out of the bar. Right. You know. Yeah, you might feel it, you might want to Uber or Lyft, but you're not going to be step off your bar stool and fall on your face kind right. of drunk after five yeah. or six. Now, you drink five or six pints of uh, Alpine IPA that we have on there, special release, at 7.9%. That might put you on your ass when you yeah. left the bar stool. So this is a good, great game day beer. It's a nice session beer. Yeah, it's a yeah. great session beer. That's a, that's a great way to put it right there. All right, uh, let's make final call on these bad boys. Uh, cigar, I probably will never smoke again. I mean, if you, if you like no flavor and you just want something mild and you want to pay way too much for it, this is a cigar. So, I mean, there is a positive on that. But again, it, it, the positive for this is new cigar smokers whose palates aren't very, very refined right. might get a lot of flavor out of this. They might, yeah. You know, they might find this to be right up their alley because it's super yeah. mild, super... Ugh flavorless to us because we've, we've been, been smoking stuff, yeah. for so long so who knows to somebody that has a very new palate to smoking right. this might be one of those cigars that is right up their alley for a few months right and i say a few months because you're gonna your palate refines as you keep smoking and smoking and smoking and the, and the thing about that too is there's so many better cigars out there for the same price or cheaper oh. if you want a nice mild cigar I, like we did the quavo yeah quavo's Phenomenal cigar. I mean, you know, even Perdomo. I'm not a big Perdomo fan, but there's there's quite a few from them that are nice Guys, and mild. I, I, out of the same family of dis distribution, the Fuente 858. Yeah. Or even just the regular Chateau, double Chateau. The, the Chateaus yeah. out of Fuente. You know, right around the same price point. Yeah. Much better cigar, much better flavor. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and just thinking about that chateau, just the wrapper on those things yeah. always were perfect. Absolutely. Just perfect on that cigar. So, yeah, uh, the beer, the cigar, not so much. The beer, yes. The coffee, yeah. If you want the gimmick, go for it. Uh, it's not my personal uh, preference, honestly. I'll probably never go back, but I just wanted to give it a whirl and yeah. kind of, you know, discuss a little bit about how people sell stuff. So Exactly. So, exactly. so hey, again, Great marketing. Yeah. 
it works. It you, works. You it works for them. Money. It's always yeah. packed. I've driven by it multiple times, and there's 10, 12 guys in line. Yeah. I had to wait like 10 minutes in line to get this stupid coffee that sucked. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. So Yeah, brew it at home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, like, subscribe, smash the bell, follow us on Instagram. Cheap underscore ashes. And uh, we will see you guys next, next time. week.